I'm Andrea Smith with CE Week TV. We are in the 3D printing zone. Really cool innovations going on here. I've got Braden Moreno, CEO of Robo3D, and I would like to point out his bow tie. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, we, uh, we like to do things a little differently here, so of course we had to come classy with the 3D printed bow ties. I love this. So like, when people are starting to think about 3D printing and they say, well, what would I possibly make? There's an example, but what else? Yeah, we have, I mean, just alone in our software that comes with the machine, we have over 20 plus files in it that we just give to kind of our users for free to kind of add to the experience of unboxing and starting to use the 3D printer. It's fun things. We have like elevated wine bottle holders, the bow ties. We have sunglasses like these. Um, all sorts of fun, yeah, all sorts of fun items that, you know, people can print directly when they buy the machine rather than have to go and seek them out, right? Um, we have things like an iPhone amplifier dock, so all sorts of stuff like that. So that, you know that that side of it, all the fun things, is all things you can do when you you know purchase a machine and use the software. But we also have stuff that you know people want to do for prototyping and things like that. So that's kind of how the technology evolves. I've heard more and more from companies um, who are coming out with new products, and as a prototype, they're 3D printing it just so they don't have to go through the expense of creating it. Well, yeah, my my one of my first companies I started was it took me two years and ten thousand dollars worth of prototyping back and forth. It's a m couple month process. Then you get the prototype back and you need to fix one thing and then you got to go through the steps again. With, with this type of manufacturing and um, 3D printing, it's this is all on demand, customized and personalized complex pieces, right? So that's what's so powerful about it is that you can build complex things at home instantly. So let's take a look at it. I'm just going to step back a little and show the printer. I mean, people are familiar with this. They've seen this kind of thing. And it, it does take time, right? It does. It does take a little bit of time. But at the end of the day, imagine if you're prototyping or manufacturing a small piece or something like that. It's still going to take weeks of time to go through the process of designing it to sending it out to get prototyped to coming back. I mean, in a matter of hours, you have a piece that you've created from scratch. Um, there's literally kids that are creating things. They already know how to use the 3D CAD programs. Now they're able to go, OK, I have this in a digital environment because we're in a computer age and everything's online. And now they go, OK, I've made the file already. Now I want to create it. And before, it would be a long process. But now they can do it in hours. And all of a sudden, they've designed a new product from scratch. So that's it's amazing. Amazing seeing kids take this on and start start uh, really coming up with something they want to make and being able to physically make it. So obviously, using a Robo 3D printer, yeah. way yeah. to go. Sorry, just real quick, it's, it's really, to me, what it's so powerful is it's not about the Boeings and the GEs and the Lockheed Martins creating the future. This technology gives the masses the ability to create the future and create innovative products, and that's what's so exciting. And I hope that's what people get from this technology, is that it's not just about the fun figurines and models that you can do. It's also about really designing and creating parts on demand and creating new products. That's what's uh, really important. Parts and even things such as prosthetic limbs and yeah. things that can actually That's help people, yeah. including these amazing glasses <laughs> here. Okay, for CE Week TV, I'm Andrea Smith.